In this tutorial we will learn how to upload files larger than 150 megabytes on Play Console. Let us start with a brief background that Android apps are uploaded to Google Play Store using Google Play Developer Console which publishes your Android apps and games. You can upload either an APK file or op file to Play Console for making your application available for use on Play Store. Google Play uses Android app bundles to generate and deliver APKs that are optimized for each device configuration, providing users with more efficient apps. This means you only need to build, sign, and upload a single app bundle to support optimized APKs for a wide variety of device configurations. Google Play then manages and serves your app's distribution APKs for you. Google puts a limit on the maximum file size which can be uploaded on Play Console which is as follows. 150 megabytes is the maximum compressed download size of APKs for one device generated from app bundles. The app bundle itself can be many times larger than this size. 100 megabytes is the maximum compressed download size of APK for apps published with APKs, only applicable to apps created before August 2021. If your APK is larger than 150 megabytes, you can include up to two files that are 2 gigabytes each. They are called expansion files. This way, the APK is the initial download from the store, which is a primary file which should be updated extremely rarely that has the primary assets and then the APK will need to be programmed to download the other two, or one, expansion file. So, essentially expansion files are additional files that can be uploaded and downloaded from Google Play alongside your APK file. They are used to include large assets or resources that exceed the initial download size limit for an Android app. Expansion files are hosted on Google Play and are downloaded by users after installing the main APK. Here's a detailed explanation of expansion files, their usage, and how to upload them. 1. Purpose of Expansion Files Expansion files allow you to include additional content such as large media files, high-resolution textures, additional levels, or any other resources that exceed the initial download size limit. They help reduce the initial APK size, allowing users to download and install the app more quickly. Expansion files are downloaded by users when they launch the app for the first time or when the app requires access to the additional content. 2. Expansion File Types there are two types of expansion files, main and patch files. Main files contain additional assets or resources required by your app. Patch files contain updates or patches for your app's APK. These files are optional and used to deliver smaller updates without requiring users to download the entire APK again. 3. Uploading expansion files. You can upload new or add existing expansion files to APKs in a draft release. The steps to do this are Open Play Console Select your app On the left menu, go to Release Production In the Production page, you will see a drop-down with Standard, Instant Apps Only and Manage Release Types. Choose Manage Release Type. You'll see a list of APKs that are associated with your release. Next to the relevant version code, select the Add icon. Choose whether you want to upload a new file or attach an existing expansion file. If the APK hasn't been published yet, you can change or remove an expansion file by selecting another file or no expansion file. You can't remove expansion files from an existing release. Select Save. For accessing expansion files in your app. To access expansion files in your app, you will need to follow these steps. In your app's manifest file, add the following permission. First, get the path to the expansion files directory using this piece of code. Then, get the list of expansion files in the directory like this. Iterate through the list of expansion files and read them as in here. Once you have read the data you can do anything you want to achieve with the data. You can get all this code from the link in description below.
Here are some additional things to keep in mind when accessing expansion files. Expansion files are stored in the device's external storage. Expansion files are not accessible to other apps. You should not delete expansion files directly. Instead, you should use the delete file method to delete them. 5. Testing and rollout. Before releasing your app with expansion files, thoroughly test it to ensure that the additional content is accessed correctly. You can test the expansion file behavior using the internal test track or by publishing an internal test release. Once you are confident in your app's stability, you can proceed with rolling out the update to production or other distribution tracks. If you are developing an app that requires a lot of data, then you should consider using expansion files. They can help to improve the performance, storage, and efficiency of your app. We have covered everything for this tutorial. Please subscribe, like, comment and share my channel for further motivating me to make more such videos for you. Thanks for watching.